So for the first time ever, I just started doing this audio and then decided, fuck this, don't know what I'm talking about this and deleted it. I'm going to talk about the same thing, just in a different way. And that is the fact that I'm really enjoying this deload week. I was struggling and hating it at the beginning. On Tuesday, I was, wasn't sure if I'd be able to complete it. And to be fair, you could argue that I haven't exactly deloaded because I've been using things, i.e. muscle groups in ways that I don't usually use them. So that's kind of, technically that's not deloading, it's kind of just shifting the load, which you could still argue is deloading. But for me, in my experience, it's definitely been a deload week because by this time I would have done something heavy in some capacity, whether it be row, dead stop rows or deadlifts, them being two of my favorite exercises right now or some weighted pull-ups or dips or some, something like that. I would have done something heavy, but I haven't. And I'm fucking enjoying it. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. It's forced me to have a much more patient outlook on things, but simultaneously feel like I can also attack things with a little bit more ferocity when I am working with no fear because I can trust that I've given my body adequate and sufficient rest and rest in a way that aids its healing because I'm always getting my blood circulating on a regular basis because I feel good like I feel real good I feel ready for I feel excited for Sunday because I did yeah I feel excited for Sunday because Saturday will be my seventh day It will be the end of the week um, And Sunday I'm not going to sit here and lie I want to see if I can get 200 up again um, But it's It's been nice it, it's, it's allowed me to take a step back Away from my training In many ways In my training <laughs> And almost exist in the gym i think it's helpful the fact that i'm back at my home gym and just exist in the gym and picture myself doing what i want to do after my deload and how i want to attack my training after deloading and it's got me thinking a lot about little things and goals that i could be doing five ten minutes of work on a day working towards that i just have shied away from um the thing that stands out to me the most is like is a handstand for example i could do five minutes of work on a daily basis that helps towards my handstand i already do i already am doing a fair bit that does that but just little things like that just the idea that i can throw in little how would i put it little sprinkles on top of my training where I take a day out of a week to do X or for, say, for example, I decide to do something for 30 days. Um, I can play around with things like that. And this has given me, if anything, this has given me the confidence and the trust in myself that like, OK, cool. You're training every day. You've proved yourself that you can do that. I'm almost 200 days in now. This is video 80, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost 200 days in, so I've proved to myself that I can train every day. That's not a fear of mine. That, that, this, doing this shit every day is, is easy to me. What's difficult to me is trusting myself to decide, okay, you're going to do this and you're going to stick to this for a period of time. And then at the end of that period of time, you shall assess the results. And if those results served you in a way where you feel it was worth your time effort and energy then this is something we will continue to do and take great consideration in adding and implementing into our routine and the way in which i work and that's it's i'll be real it's building my trust for that it's building my trust for that so with myself so i definitely don't want to lose that so committing to either a deal or day a week or which yeah i guess a week makes more sense than every 10 days but committing to something like a deal or day a week now that's going to help me build that momentum and build that trust and then committing to a deal week every 
however four to six seven weeks out of whatever you decide to do for a, for a block of training wherever you want to attack and it's also got me thinking a lot about how to break up my training and this is this is in my opinion this shit is relevant for life like the way in which i've been thinking about how to adequately break up my training into let's say a eight week block that ends with a deload week so you've got seven week working weeks what are you trying to improve in those seven weeks what are you what are the main things you're trying to attack you choose three things and you divide the time so on and so forth you just work down the pyramid the same goes if you really wanted to do it like you could go 10 years okay what do you what do you want to have achieved in 10 years and then you work down the pyramid that way as well um, which is something that I'd imagine to be very beneficial because whilst all that happens in my head getting things on paper is far more valuable which is kind of ironic because I made a video not long ago about how I don't plan things um, yeah anyway I'm enjoying this deload week I thought I wouldn't enjoy it I'm falling in love with it I can't wait to lift again lift heavy again I look forward to it but at the same time my body feels fucking great I'm on Friday now Tomorrow is my last official day of deloading. I may extend it to Saturday. We shall see. Sunday. We shall see. But I doubt it. And I feel good. I feel fucking amazing. Yes, I have also coming home. I have spent more time sitting on the floor, more time standing, less time sitting in chairs. This week's also the week where I finally completely got rid of my pillow when it comes to sleeping. And I can already feel that my body is appreciating all these little things. Spending more time in a squat, spending more time hanging just throughout the day. Um, being inspired by Move Your DNA by Katie Bowman. Uh, just changing just patterns throughout the day. Walking more, changing the way in which I walk. All these little things have been adding up. So it's not just the deloading in the gym that's paying dividends to the way I'm feeling. However, it's a big part. It is definitely a big part. Definitely a big part. So it was something that we shall definitely incorporate in time to come. Again, if you made it this far, thank you very much. And I shall see you tomorrow.